so dear friends i have a question from uh, puran panda kalyana chakravarti from odisha and the question is uh, regarding uh, electroscope and it reads something like this when a positively charged rod is brought near the electroscope the upper metal disc becomes negatively charged due to induction and subsequently the leaves attain positive charge now when the upper metal disc is grounded then it is said that the leaves will become neutral my doubt is that during the period of grounding in the presence of positively charged rod why is the upper metal disc not becoming neutral like the leaves so that is uh, the question let me explain the question on the board what he says is that uh, you have an electroscope suppose here is that uh, metal disc of the electroscope and here is the end this is a conducting copper wire and then two leaves are there two leaves are there we bring a positively charged rod close to this uh, electroscope so negative charges are induced here and positive charges go here and therefore these things spread out this is the general description this is the general description and when we ground when we ground this when we touch this with our finger we ground it then what happens then this this positive charge uh, goes away and it becomes neutral and then it just goes this way but uh, this negative charge remains here his question is if i am grounding from here then why this charge doesn't go away why this charge goes away so that's the question <laughs> okay so the simple answer for their kids is that this negative charge is bound attracted by this positive charge and therefore it is not able to go because this charge is is uh, attracting this but this is being repelled this is being repelled so it wants to go as far away as possible and this is still far away so this charge goes away and this becomes neutral so that is the qualitative uh, answer which we give if this question is uh, to be explained this answer to be explained to some say class 7 8 student but then but then if you go deeper into it uh, you can talk of uh, why this charge separation was there when i did not ground it that time it was like this it is said it is like this it is not necessary because the whole game is to have a charge distribution this charge this charge this charge this charge this charge have a charge distribution which ensures that electric field everywhere in the metal here 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 everywhere in the metal electric field should be zero net electric field should be zero this is electrostatics so the charges will distribute in such a fashion that the electric field is zero everywhere in the metal and the way we show it some negative charge here some positive charge here some positive charge here if you use coulomb's law and try to find what is the electric field here or what is the electric field here or what is the electric field here the simple picture perhaps is not the right one so there is a charge distribution and how it is distributed that only the metal knows but we know that predominantly yes predominantly since this is producing a field which is uh, which is having component this way therefore the negative charges have to be here positive charge more positive charge has to be here so that uh, the field of these two this direction should compensate the field of this one and make it zero but remember it has to be zero here 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 everywhere so that is how the charge will be distributed and if you talk in terms of potential because grounding we are bringing grounding and the one way of understanding grounding is that grounding is at sudden potential which is zero 
and then when we connect, we force the potential of the object to become zero. Okay, so if I think of potential, when this rod was not there and there was no charge separation, everything was uh, just uh, as usual, common, the potential was zero. Okay, no charges anywhere. When we bring this positive charge, so we are creating some potential, positive potential, positive charge. So the potential here, which was zero, that potential will become positive. So it is still equipotential. It is still equipotential. The electric field is zero everywhere. But that potential is now greater than zero. This, in this condition, in this condition, potential is greater than zero. Potential of this metal, this whole thing. Same potential. So that is greater than zero. When you ground it, what happens? When you ground it, this is this is at higher potential, positive potential, ground is at lower potential. So there's a potential difference. Electrons will flow from lower potential to higher potential. So electrons will flow from here, electrons will flow from here and then reach here. And uh, where it will be going here, or here, or here, or here, that will again be guided by the end result which I need. The electric field everywhere, here, 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 should be zero. So it has to be equipotential, but that potential should now become zero. And to make that potential zero, the negative charge is to be brought because. The way it is shown here, this negative, this positive, before the grounding, this was the case. This is uh, ensuring V greater than zero. And I need V equal to zero when I connect it. So some negative charge has to be flown into the system. And that negative charge will distribute. Actually, it will distribute. This negative charge will just not go here. Because uh, this negative charge we are, which we are putting, this itself should produce zero field everywhere, right? This is the field, this is the charge distribution, which is able to produce zero electric field here. And now I am saying that I am grounding, I am sending some extra electrons, extra charge, and still the final electric field should be zero everywhere in the metal. So this extra charge should itself produce zero electric field in the metal. And if the, this extra charge has to produce a zero uh, electric field everywhere in the metal by itself, that cannot be put here, that cannot be put here, that has to be distributed. So part of this will go here and part of this will go here, right? So finally, finally this... Uh, uh, how much charge will go here, how much charge will go here, not necessarily equal amount, how much charge will go here, how much charge will go here, that it will dissolve. But ultimately, if the electrons are reaching here, this uh, repulsion will decrease. If the electrons are reaching here, you will see nothing in the electroscope. The electroscope will only show that this is decreasing and it is becoming it is becoming neutral. We don't know if there is a minor charge here. So how the charge will be distributed, only the charge knows it. It has to be there. If you put all the extra negative charge here, that will not produce a zero field. Okay? But nevertheless, nevertheless, the charge will be reduced on the leaves, will be reduced to a great extent. And charge is likely to be increased here. Okay? Which I don't have any way to detect through the microscope. Okay.